Hey, almost didn't see you guys there for a second. Well, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Benjamin Baldu. I am a freshman here up at Concordia University in the wonderful city of Seward, Nebraska. I plan on majoring in secondary education with social science, and I also hope to one day coach particularly with football. I will be doing my shadowing presentation with Mr. Bassett. He's been gracious enough to let me follow under his footsteps and just kind of learn the do's and don'ts of what not to do at high school. So without further ado, here's my video. All right, I'm here with Mr. Bassett at Lincoln Lutheran. Uh, so when did you start teaching? Uh, I started teaching 18 years ago. This is the, the end of my 18th year of teaching. Okay. So where did you get your degree from? I went to Concordia and Seward. Um, right. I graduated in 1993 with, uh, with a Bachelor of Science in Education, uh, subjects of History and English. Okay. Have you always taught here at Lincoln Lutheran? Yeah, I did. I actually took two years to go to the University of Nebraska before um, coming here. Uh, earned a master's degree in American history, came here, and I've been uh, here since 1995. Uh, the only person that's taught government, um, U.S. history, um, sociology. Right, yeah. So uh, what made you kind of want to be a teacher? Actually, um, I didn't have a huge desire to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. um, when I went to Concordia, it was uh, going there to kind of get a degree. I was going to do graduate school and, and then maybe you know do who knows what. Um, right. And my, my dad, who had gone back to, uh, in life, second career kind of guy, he became a teacher, uh, and my mom too, um, they uh, said, you know, why don't you just get a teaching degree just to have it, because it, it can help you with other things. I said, okay, fine, whatever. So I wasn't too serious about it, so I did not take uh, much time with, uh, uh, like, the intro to ed and some of those things, kind of just going through the motions, because I didn't think I'd do it, and then until I had student teaching, uh, the final semester of my senior year did it really hit that maybe this was something I could do. I mean it was kind of a building thing in the back of my mind but then right. when I did student teaching I'm like yeah that was fun I, I want to do that but I had already deferred placement so <laughs> kind of had to go to grad school then. So after all these 18 years looking back is there anything that you would change probably maybe you have a different degree or after going through these 18 years it's like you definitely made the <laughs> oh, right no. choice. No, I, de I, I think I definitely made the right choice. I love what I do. Um, they're, they're tough days, don't get me wrong. There's some yeah. days you're kind of like, dude, I just want the semester to be done. I just want the kids <laughs> to be gone. I don't want to grade papers. There, there are days like that. But there are, there are many, many, many more days that I just, I love being here. Once I'm here, I just I just really like what I teach. So my degree is perfect. I've always liked uh, the history side of things. Um, and yeah, I teach government, um, and that wasn't really my love. I've grown to love the idea of government. And I teach theology now rather than English. And so I really, really enjoy that too, uh, getting to, to talk through you know, like New Testament stuff or getting to talk through U.S. history. Perfect degree for me, and, and I, like I said, I love what I do. The only problem would be is that because I'm the only one that teaches these classes, I've never really had somebody to, to bounce ideas off. Um, I'm the only one that's ever taught U.S. history. Nobody else ever has. Right. And so, and I'm isolated. So unless I know other U.S. history teachers here or there, um, most of what I find is, you know, I gotta do it on my own. I, I don't have a, but I would say a, a natural support system like you might get in a bigger school where you've got two or three people teaching their class. So that's the only drawback really is that. But at the same time, I got freedom to do anything I want. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, as long as I'm teaching based on some state standards that we can kind of be accredited for, right. it, I can teach in any way, shape, or form I want. So it's, it's awesome. Yeah. The opportunity I get to do that, I'm not bound by some sort of curriculum. Well, thank you for your time, and yep. thank you for taking me under your wing just sure. to learn the ropes, I guess. All right.